Hello and welcome to the session on remote device connectivity, enabling the Internet of Things. My name is Harry Forbes. I'm from ARC Advisory Group in Boston. I'll be moderating the session. Um, the format for the session will be a, a, a very brief, and I promise very, very brief presentation by me, the moderator, just to kind of set a little context for device management in an industrial sense. Second, we'll have a presentation from Charlie Angle of Ashland Water Technologies. Then we'll have a presentation from John Elder of Acclaim Energy Advisors. Following that, the two presenters will be joined uh, by Sean McElvey of AT&T uh, in a panel discussion. We'll have a few questions uh, and a little bit of dialogue and then open it up to you for your questions. So please be thinking of questions as you hear the presentations. If you have a cell phone, please uh, do the uh, uh, group the courtesy of silencing your cell phone. Let me make sure mine's silent. It is. Um, and uh, so without any, uh, any more, let's, let's uh, get underway. In an, in an industrial uh, context, um, there, there are certain properties that people deal with in industrial contexts about devices. Now, various protocols, various kinds of software, various functions for the devices, different types of networks, and a, and a, and a question of scale. It's how big, and I think that's an important question in industrial context, how big or how large a scale can you, can you manage a set of devices over? Is it 10? Is it 50? Is it 100, is it 500, 1,000, 10,000, a million? Very different answers at different places. The traditional, and I'm, 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 what I would say is that in an industrial context, uh, remote has different meanings. Um, remote can be at the top of a, a uh, distillation column. Remote can be out at a, uh, a blending site, off, uh, an off-site area. It can be different things. But the traditional, and sadly all too common, way for people in industrial sites to manage devices, intelligent or not, is with some kind of dedicated tool that manages a single protocol device, typically heart, um, and is used to parameterize the device uh, or adjust, it, adjust parameters. And you have to go to either the device or to some terminals, network to the device, hardwired terminals, to really do it. And so the, the scale is pretty low. And usually this is done on a, on a, on a small scale. Um, on a, the kind of next set, if you will, that, of technology that is still probably a minority, that really represents the majority of installations. Some subset of installations in industry have more advanced tools, usually based on multi-protocol software technologies, uh, such as FDT or EDDL. And they have a host application that manages a larger set of devices and parameterizes them in um, usually at a unit level. So it might be 1,000 devices or, or 2,000 or something like that. Um, and again, it's, uh, these tend to be more network agnostic, but they do tend to be more still wired network. Uh, they're not entirely agnostic. They tend to be more wired than wireless. Um, and again, the scale gets up to uh, maybe a, a, a few thousand devices. Uh, in terms of device connectivity and management in the future, um, I think we will see, as Andy mentioned in his presentation in the morning, um, much more connectivity to devices. Uh, many devices connected outside of the automation channel, outside of the automation system, and outside of the um, process control areas. Um, the kinds of functions that are going to be important are not just parameterization of the device, but security of the device and management of the device. One of the areas that I cover is electric utilities. And electric utilities in the United States and Europe have deployed probably 100 million or more smart meters. But many of the utilities that have these smart meters don't know or can't tell if a meter happened to be infected with some kind of malware, it's very difficult for them to know, sadly. And so what they have done in many cases is keep that capability, some of the capability of those devices, 
inactive for that reason, that they're, they're, they have security concerns. So security will certainly be a big piece of the, man, of the device management um, capability going forward. But again, the uh, ability here is to scale to a much larger number. And it is not just uh, you know, the telecoms and maybe people who are pressing for Internet of Things who are, who are driving this. Um, if you saw the presentation earlier today, there was a session on analytics. And, and uh, one of the gentlemen um, from Shell uh, talked about the need to engage remote domain experts in support of, of their operations. And that includes device management as part of what they need. So there is certainly a need for this that is seen in industry and, and industrial leaders, as we've seen at this conference, the super major oil companies, major chemical companies, are pushing suppliers for technologies that enable them to use their workforce and their domain experts better in managing devices. So that, um, that's my two cents worth. 